Hello, I am just going to show you real quick how to um, type letters to a specific size. Um, if you're trying to resize it for a specific um, dimension, um, one easy way to do this would be you're going to type out your letters how you want them. Right now, this is considered a font style. So if you click on it, it's going to tell you that it is 1.117 inches tall. And you can see, so it's measuring from the top of this box to the bottom of this box. And with each font, it's going to differ um, how much extra space that's left over here. And I will also show you a way to um, make that a little more accurate. But first, the easy way to do this would just be to make sure that you have it selected. Go up to your right um, uh, toolbox up here and open the scale window. It looks like three rectangles at a diagonal. And then you're going to <clears throat> make sure lock aspect is, is check marked. That keeps your height and your width the same um, aspect as you um, increase the sizes. So for our height, say we want to do three inches. So we're just going to type in here three inches and then it's going to make our width of those letters the same way. So you can see here, there's still a lot of wasted space, but it is three inches from the top of your line of your text box to the bottom of your line. Now, if you want it to be very accurate in how tall your letters are, a way to do that would be first, I'm going to make a copy of this. So I hit my Alt key and I move a copy off to the side. <clears throat> So I have that because what we're going to do is now we are going to ungroup this and when we ungroup it, it now changes it into a vector image file. So you will not be able to alter the font at all. So you would not be able to retype your words. So that's why we created a copy over here onto the left. So you're going to ungroup and it's going to make all of them a separate um, image and then you can just hit control G again and it will group them back together but now you can see there's not near as much wasted space your uh, dimensions are a lot more accurate so now you here we went from three inches before now to 2.487 so now you can once again go over here to your height change that to a three undo that make sure your lock aspect is checked either way it looked fine so we can uncheck it again and, and do this it just changes the height only of your letters. In this case, the font, it looks okay when you do that. But we can undo it and I can show you the lock aspect. So three, then it changes it to three inches tall, a lot less wasted space, and it does the lock aspect so it makes your letters horizontally the same way so it makes everything look um, in line with each other. Hope that helps.